Introduction to the Network and Sharing Center. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the Network and Sharing Center. We'll talk about how you can locate the Network and Sharing Center. We'll talk about what is the Network Connectivity Status Indicator, or NCSI. And then we'll talk about how to customize some of your network settings. OK, so let's get started. Connecting to a network or making your own home network has never been easier. This lesson is going to introduce you to the Network and Sharing Center, which is found either through the control panel or by right-clicking the little icon in the system tray and choosing Network and Sharing Center. This main panel displays a compressed view of the network map, information about existing network connections, any resources the user can locate on the network or is sharing on the network, there's a section down here in the links that shows you all the files and folders that you're sharing. You can see all of the shared network folders on this computer. Over here we have tasks where you can view computers and devices, connect to a network, set up a connection or a network, manage network connections, and diagnose and repair. The Network Connectivity Status Indicator, or NCSI for short, sits in your system tray, and it provides you with four different connectivity states. Notice how just putting your cursor over it allows you to see the network connections listed. And if you had multiple connections, you would see multiple network connections located here. But the connectivity states are what is most interesting about this little icon. For example, you'll notice that it shows you that two computers are connected and there's a little globe there. That indicates that your connection is fine and you have a connection to the internet as well. If there were problems with your connection, for example, if you lost your connection or if the connection wasn't able to connect to the internet, you would see this icon change as you see here. So in this case, we have no connectivity whatsoever. And you notice that none of the other pieces of information that used to be here currently exist. Even your little map here shows you that you have no connection. So when you see a little red X, it tells you you have no connectivity, as opposed to when you have a little warning caution sign, it, that indicates that you have a connectivity problem. If you simply have the two computers but no little globe, that means that you have connection, but only locally. You have no connection to the internet. Well, let's get our network back up here. And give it a moment. There we go. This network map at the top of your center is a mini map to start with, but you can select View Full Map. And this opens up to show you an expanded view of your network. You should be able to see everything your computer is connected to including network connections, wired and wireless, computer-to-computer -computer connections, called ad hoc, and connections to the internet. The map will show you problems between connections as well, so you can begin diagnosing connectivity issues visually before you make corrections physically. So for example, there are some unknowns here in our network map, so that's something that we would want to investigate. In addition, you can see here from the Network and Sharing Center, we have information about our network. We can customize that information. For example, we can change the name of the network, or we can choose public or private network. Ordinarily, you choose which connection you want when you're setting up your network for the first time, because you know if your computer is either in a private location, which gives you a little bit more freedom, it allows you to be part of a home network, let's say, or a small business network, where you know you're not directly connected to the outside, or if your computer is going to be, let's say, a laptop that you're traveling around with, you might choose public so that it protects you a little bit more. You have to provide permissions. And this switches you to a public network which really locks down your settings. And this protects you a little bit more because you'll most likely be accessing things like an airport network or the network at the local Wi-Fi coffee spot. If you're connected to a private network, you probably want to see the other systems on the network along with their resources. Vista provides a couple of ways for you to do this. The first one is by going right through the Network and Sharing Center. Up in the Tasks pane, you can choose View Computers and Devices. And from here, you can see which computers are in the network. In addition, you can choose the Start Orb and choose Network. And you see pretty much the same thing. So that's your introduction to the Network and Sharing Center. You can see how easy a tool it is to start working with. So we hope you found that helpful, and thanks for viewing.